Hello everybody, Slothalopolis with the average gamer guys, and I'm not playing any games today. I am not uh, I'm not doing Rocket League and watching you making you watch me flop around. I'm not even saying words. I, I don't even know how to word good. Uh, I'm talking today a little bit about the ultimate game pass sale that dropped right around the time of E3. Uh, One dollar gets you ultimate game pass for the amount of time that you have your Xbox Live subscription. So I'm going to break this all down. If you don't know what the Ultimate Game Pass is, it's basically uh, a subscription-based service that gives you access to a huge amount of games for a like a monthly fee, I think is what it is, or maybe it's a yearly fee. But you pay a fee, you get access to these games. It's basically like digitally renting your choice of like 220-something games. The sale that they launched was that for as long as you have Xbox Live, at the moment of your purchase of the Game Pass, you get Game Pass for $1 for that amount of time. So for instance, I had I currently had 13 months left on my Xbox Live subscription. I paid $1, I get the Ultimate Game Pass for 13 months. For that $1, not $1 a month, not $1 a game, $1 hair, period. So super cool and I don't want anybody else to miss out on this because I think there's a huge potential for us to be able to do a lot of cool things as a community and as a channel together so I'm gonna go over some of these things and I'm gonna show like exactly what's in the ultimate game pass I'm already downloading a bunch of stuff this is these are things that I'm either downloading or that are already on my hard drive that are a part of the ultimate game pass Ark survival evolved which looks amazing here fantastic things about that it's a really underrated game Cities skyline is a city builder that uh, basically was like what SimCity used to be uh, before EA ran that into the ground. Uh, Halo 5, Halo Wars 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which is the newest fighting version of that, which is really fun. I used to play those a lot. PUBG, and of course, the GOAT game, Rocket League. And then, that's not all. So if I scroll up here, um, you see on the left it says Ultimate Game Pass 100+, plus, but up here... You see, I have nine of these games installed, and ready to install is 214 other games. I'm no mathematician. I was a psych major, but that adds up to, I think, 223 games for the price of $1. And the the usual argument is like, oh, uh, well, they're, you know, you could offer me a million games. If they all suck, who cares? I don't want to play them. Stay with me. Stay with me here. Alien Isolation is like a terrifying game. It's great if you play it all alone uh, in the dark while you're uh, crying and peeing yourself. Super, super fun. The Banner Saga series is underrated and supposed to be really good. We have the entire Batman Arkham Trilogy, Night City, and Asylum. We have Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel, leaving out only Borderlands 1. I really want to know what this portal bridge constructor is, because that sounds amazing. I'm downloading a bunch of crap, and nothing's loading. I'm stupid. Uh, screw my internet. Uh, two versions of Crackdown 3, for some reason. I'm sure there's a reason. Yeah, Wrecking Zone and the campaign. I'm not sure what the difference is there, but Darksiders 1 and 2. Um, Dead by Daylight was like really hyped up. I think there's still a lot of fun to be had there. Uh, maybe just didn't quite live up to the potential, but Dead Island 1 and 2. Defense Grid was a free game. Like, it's been like a long time. Uh, it was a Games with Gold a long time ago. Uh, honestly, as a uh, tower defense game, not bad. Uh, it's definitely a game that like you wouldn't pay for. Devil May Cry 4, Doom, Elder Scrolls Online. The only way you're going to get me to play this game is through this. I tried this very early on on the PC, uh, just not into MMOs. I don't want to see everybody running around. It completely ruins the uh, the immersion for me. But I don't know. Maybe we'll try it since I have access to it. Uh, the Fable Trilogy, the entire Fable Trilogy, so good. These games are fantastic. Fallout 3 and 4. Um, Fallout 4 is a longer discussion. We can talk about that later. Uh, Full Metal Furries, which is super fun. Uh, Ge the Gears of War Complete Saga including Gears of War Judgment and the Ultimate Edition. What? That's crazy. Uh, you can uh, you can get ready for Gears of War 5 coming out in just a couple months. With the Game Pass, you can play all of these games, run through the campaigns, get ahead, and get caught up with the story. The Halo Wars Definitive Edition, which is awesome. I'm really glad they re, uh, re kind of tweaked everything for the Definitive Edition. It looks great. 
Halo Spartan Assault. If you do remember, Halo Wars 2 um, was in the stuff that's already on my hard drive, the game that really launched this channel. Um, we owe so much to that game, and we hope this is not the end of the Halo Wars saga. But then we have Halo Master Chief Collection, which is already like five games, six games when they had Reach, if I'm not mistaken, uh, all wrapped into one. And from my understanding, um, one of our, like, our longest standing sub, uh, Legend Nightmare, a really cool dude. He's always he's always there with us. He's always um, in the chats and in the videos. He's a super cool dude, super good friend of ours. Um, he's telling me the Halo Master Chief Collection is fixed now. They finally fixed it. It's like four years, five years later, but whatever. Uh, they finally fixed it. Uh, I will say that I need to re-download it. Um, I completed all the achievements for that game, so I deleted it. But if they're adding Reach, I'm probably going to be doing some playthroughs of that and maybe some uh, achievement guides if that is something that people are looking for. Hydro Thunder, just, man, all of the nostalgias from being in arcades uh, as a young man. Just Cause 3 and 4, which I just noticed. I honestly missed those the first time around, and I'm probably missing a bunch of other stuff as I go because there's just so much to see. Lego games are always great. The Life is Strange series, which are great storytelling. Uh, video games, Mass Effect, Metal Gear Survive, which is something that Doc played for a long period of time, and that's like a super grind fest, but uh, that's that's Doc's bread and butter. Uh, the, the Metro series, Last Night, and 2033 redos, and Exodus, Shadow of Mordor, which I have, which is a fantastic game. Access to Minecraft, so there's a few people in uh, a few of our subs that are really pushing us to play Minecraft. Probably not going to happen, but I have access to it now, so I have less of an excuse. Monster, Hun Monster Hunter World is really, really good. Uh, I suck at those games, but I may get back into it. Mortal Kombat 10, I may go get uh, my head chopped off by Doc in a fighting game, because I can now. Uh, Oblivion, one of the greatest games of all time. Uh, the graphics look like potatoes looking back, but it's so, so good. Perfect Dark Zero. I loved the Perfect Dark series as a kid, man. Loved them. Uh, Doc played the crap out of Prey, and that is a good game that kind of... It, it, it lost a lot of steam after launch. It was pretty hyped up before before launch but it's a really good game resident evil 5 doc and i played the living crap out of in high school this is such a good game such a good game it's that's also a grind fest uh but we've got a couple of the new tomb raider games here rise son of rome i did a video on this game for gold uh a while back like last year i want to say um but surprisingly good silence looks really good i just have to find the time to play it sniper elite 4 you get to watch x-ray slow motion video of people getting shot it's amazing super super fun as a sniper game i've done a gameplay video of snake pass which is a really fun like family game I, I don't know that i talked about fusion frenzy it's above which is a fantastic like party game to have around sunset overdrive was a launch title with xbox one and it was super super good honestly like it, it just being a launch title it kind of like got pushed to the side a little bit but it's super fun in a really silly way we've got terraria um the like the remake of the tomb raider uh, marvel versus capcom 3 i've already got the other one uh, ultimate downloading walking dead season one and two and the wolfenstein series and the zombie army trilogy which is low-key real freaking scary <laughs> so um i didn't want to like go over every single game but like it's super easy to get excited about this and this is something that i think we can all get together as a community as a channel and we can do community game nights on some of these things, uh, especially these games that support um, decently sized groups, because we know that everybody has these games. And that's part of like we us wanting to, to reach out and play with people. And uh, that sounded weird. Uh, let me let me rephrase that uh, to, to play with the subs and do community game nights. We really enjoy that kind of stuff. And we also really like finding games that are good that maybe don't have the population that they used to and that they maybe still deserve. So um, we uh, we like going back into these games and like trying to, our best to like revitalize a little bit the community for those games, for, at least for a short period of time. And it's really easy to do that if everybody has it. So honestly, like at the very least, if you have one month of Xbox Live subscription, you can use the one dollar and get a free rental on all of these games. I recommend like stretching that out. Um, your subscription is the most efficient if you do it as a year ahead. Um, so you're looking at like 50 to $60, depending on where you get your subscription from, but you're paying like $5 a month versus like if you do like monthly, it's like 10 or, or something like that. 
but I love this. This is a great idea. This is something like if you have an Xbox Live subscription, you can afford because it's a dollar and it can afford us the opportunity to play together as a group, uh, as a channel and as a uh I don't know. I, I think group is the best word, but uh, as as a bunch of people that like video games, that want to hang out, have a good time, um, stream some stuff. Maybe we could watch Doc die in Darksiders like a million times. I enjoy that. That's really fun. Uh, he did that in Sekiro. I'd like to watch him do that in Darksiders because I like to laugh at him as he dies. But uh, check all this stuff out. Uh, I'm sorry I've rambled on for a long period of time, but uh, hopefully this is something that you guys will enjoy. Hopefully this is something that you guys will use. And hopefully I'll see you in a couple of these games because I think this is going to open up to maybe me not just playing Rocket League and Apex 100% of the time. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, my name's Sloth. Come play some games with me. Um, let me know in the description or in the... Uh, in the comments what games you guys would like to play what are like your favorite games in the game pass and maybe games that we could all play like maybe do a community night or or just kind of stream random games and stuff that people would be interested in um i'll throw links for everything down in the description i'm sloth my friend is doc together uh we're the uh we're the average something we play games or something i can't remember i don't know who we are but i appreciate you comment subscribe do whatever if you want to if not it's okay i still love you I'll see y'all later.